Hey, what's up my Dragon Legion? How y'all been? So the Dragoons, today we're going to be doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile that was actually requested to do for quite some time ago. And I finally got the time to do it, and that deck profile is going to be the Chaos Blue Eyes Dragon deck profile that that, that someone has requested to see for, for quite some time, as I said earlier. And here it is, after some quite some time, I finally got to get the deck together, and here's what I at the deck right now, the moment, right now, the moment. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have not yet test played this deck right here, and there are some things about the deck that I'm not 100% satisfied with yet. Now, keep in mind, this deck right now is gonna be going through a testing phase right now, and right after this video is uploaded, I will be playing get some people and seeing how well this deck does and what it needs to be changed on what should stay etc or such and what will be needed in the deck in order to prove upon but for right now the moment uh this is how the deck is is right now the moment and for for where it is it does look pretty good at some points here and there uh it's got a really good good spin off of here and there and it's got a little bit of a chaos dragon build with a little hint of old school hopeless dragon in it which is actually pretty interesting something that we don't have something that we have not seen in a very long time in Yu-Gi-Oh! And here it is right here. So with that being said, let's get right straight to the deck profile right now. Shadow Dragoons. Alright, let's get the Vanilla Dragons out of the way real quick. Start off with uh, three Blue White Dragons. Uh, I wasn't sure if the person wanted three or two Blue White Dragons. Uh, I assume most people these days who request deck profiles these days, when it comes to Blue White Dragon, they normally want to see three Blue White Dragons. So right now, three, three. I'm doing three right now at the moment. Uh, but it's always not a bad thing to play three instead of two is because now with when you're playing like a Chaos Dragon based deck, you will be playing card effects that will be involving removing your blue white dragons from play, etc. and such. So when that happens, in case that happens, you'll you, you can get away with moving two of your own blue white dragons from play and still leave one for reserve for for obviously your big push three thousand beater play. And what's a good thing about Blue Eyes right now at the moment is there is some recent support, Vanilla Dragon supports that just came out not too long ago. So not only we can use Dark Metal Dragon, etc. etc. to bring them back, we can also use Silver's Cry to bring them back. And of course, we can always use the typical tr tr tradition of trade in two, trade in, pitch in, draw two, cards, contents, pitch white stone, draw two. And it will always help us out with what we need and get to our key mechanics every now and then. Uh, people will like to play two for understandable reasons. It's really all based upon uh, players' preference. But if you want to try three, that's fine. If you want to play just two, that's fine too. All right. Next up, one Femo Guard, uh, kind of a little backup tuner along with a White Stone Dragon, and it's a it's a Vanilla Dragon one tuner, tuner one star tuner that can be brought back by Silver's Cry. So this gives you access of a quick revival of a of a tw of a twin defender in case you need that, and in case you have a way to utilize him for single plays. He's right there as well, so yeah, one silver, one of them guard is pretty good. Next up, we have two white stone legends, uh, basic good card for uh, for a, a blue eyes any blue eyes based deck in my opinion. Every time this if this card sends a graveyard, you get blue eyes with dragons to deck your hand. So obviously, as we dragon players mostly know, uh, cards cons to him as I said earlier, cards cons to him, draw two, pitch him, draw two, his back, get your get your what blue eyes, trade in, pitch him, and pitch your blue eyes draw two again so this allows us to get a lot of searching and drawing off every now and then uh three can be a little bit cloggy depending on what you're trying to do so two is just fine and two all is all you really need to get your blue eyes placed and go and such and along with femme guard he also combos off with your debris dragon so if you need like a weird play, secret play in particular they're right there for when that occasion happens all right next for the chaos dragon engine we have uh, three light pulsars two dark flares one Eclipse Wyvern, one Red MD, and one Dark Room Dragon. That's that's pretty much the uh, the basic Chaos Dragon engine lineup right here. Uh, there's no, I didn't play with any of the Black Dragons or White Dragons in this deck right now at the moment because I kind of feel like this deck right here kind of has a quiet bit of high level monsters as is, and I don't want Ebony Ivory to clog up my hands to where in case if I don't have anything too much to remove, I don't want to run into a situation where, oh crap, I can't summon this guy and such, and I, I'm already playing a quite a bit of a big high level monsters as if, and I, and I tried to uh, cut down the sub, sub as much as possibly can, so I'm playing a little bit as much high level monsters and and equal out with, with low level monsters as much as I possibly can. All right. Next up, we have two Dark Horse. Dark Horse is pretty good because another trading target, and he's another 3,000 beater that can just be brought back by Dark Metal Dragon. 
and he has a nice nice ability where if you need it, you can just bring back Hunzo when every opponent activates spell card. And if you have like another level four monster later and such, you can just send then summon out that other level four monster, go for a rank four Xyz play right there and such. And yeah, he's also a dark monster that can help you with your with your chaos plays every here and there and such. So yeah, two dark horse. And next up we have one debris dragon. Uh, not only to go good with the uh, the white stones and such, but he also but this deck is also currently playing card trooper right now at the moment. So you can use this guy's ability, get your card trooper, use card trooper's ability, mill three, and then sink these two guys guys there, go for your black rose, nuke the field right there. So that's always good in case something like that comes up up, up like that. Next we have Three Hanzos help you with more chaos plays, and he definitely combos all of this deck very well. Use this guy's ability, get your uh, beast transformation, and you can use your beast transformation trap card effect to get rid of your Hanzo and a certain monster your opponent controls that you want to get rid of. And you can just bring out a big powerful dragon right there and just have fun just wrecking your opponent right there. So, three Hanzos is definitely a very great card play. And another reason why I'm playing Dark Flare Dragon because in case my opponent does something weird where they bring out a level 1 monster I don't want to deal with, like, what's his name? That one flute guy playing guy. That when you summon him, you can tribute him, whatever such, to draw a card. If it's a level 1 monster, you can draw another card as such. Like, if your opponent drops him, you can just play your, nope, you can just be like, nope, super transformation, get rid of my ninja, get rid of your annoying flute guy, I'm going to get my Dark Flare, and there's nothing you can do about it, as my buddy Silver would say. Next up, the two card troopers, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, this deck allows. Now, this deck doesn't really need milling too much, but keep in mind, this deck is kind of playing a good amount of high level monsters right now at the moment. So, you do want the trooper to allow you to potentially get those high level monsters in graveyard as fast as you possibly can, so you don't have to worry about dead drawing them, and also help you out with your chaos plays every here and there. And also, when you do mill off three, he becomes a temporary 19 beater, unless he's brought back by Debris Dragon. So, he becomes an, other than that, he becomes a 19 beater for the turn, and when he's destroyed, set the graveyard, you can use his effect to draw one card, and then, yeah, you can pretty much do some fun plays after that. So, we have two troopers, and then the idea of boss cards of most Chaos decks. Why not? Two Chaos Sorcerers and one BLS. No explanation why these guys are in here for. And that's it for the monster lineup. Now for the spell lineup. For spell lineup, we have two Dragon Shrines, get our Blue Eyes White Dragons, and our Flamble Guard, Flamble Guard and Graveyard. And then after we do one or the other, we can send one more additional dragon to the graveyard. Uh, definitely combos all with Whitestone very well. It definitely combos all with Chris Wyvern very well. And if you just want that one dragon in particular to be sent to the graveyard, so you can do more Chaos plays, etc. such, it's right there for that occasion to happen. Two Rodas to get our Hanzos from deck to our hands. Two Silver's Cries to get our Blue Eyes or our Thumbo Guard. Two Wing Beat of Giant Dragon. We can use this card to bounce back any level 5 or higher dragon we control to our hand to destroy our opponent's entire back row. So that's always a good thing. Run one Rageki, two cards of content, and two trade-ins. And all I'm really playing for traps is the two Super Beast transformations for the occasion of this deck, of course. So, yeah. Alright, so that right there is the main deck. Now, I won't lie, the extra deck does need a little bit of work, but right now the extra deck is going by based upon what we saw so far of the main deck. Uh, there are some changes, like I said with the main deck, the extra deck will be going through some changes very soon based upon what it needs the most. But for right now, as the extra deck, this is how it stands right now. Uh, one Tekion Dragon, I don't have any other uh, Galaxy Eyes monsters right now at the moment, except for maybe uh, Neo Galaxy Eyes, but he requires like three level eights, where this guy only requires two. Uh, when I do get more Galaxy Eyes monsters, he'll probably be other. There'll probably be other Galaxy Eyes monsters besides just him. Like even if I do get more, I do see myself still playing Tekion Dragon because he is still a great card. Detach Wing Seize material, negate the effects of all our monsters field. He gains 1,000 attack points, and he gets the ability to potentially attack twice. And that was a Vanguard reference I did right there. Fourth habit. So yeah, a 4,000 beater that can be a temporary skill drain and attack twice. That's always pretty good. Uh. One Heretic Seal, Seal Overlord because why not? Get rid of all your extra dragons to destroy a good portion of your point stuff. And one of the main reasons why I want to get more Galaxy Monsters is, of course, because of number 95 Galaxy Eyes. 
uh, he's Dark Matter Dragon. Uh, what he does is when he first exceeds some, you can, he does require three level nines, but he has a fact that says he can just be exceeded some by overlaying him on top of any galaxy as monster, which is which conveniently that's what he is. Uh, when he's first XT summoned, you can just send three dragons with different names for your deck of the graveyard. Then your opponent chooses three monsters and it is our deck to be removed from play. Then once per turn, you can detach his material, he can attack twice. So yeah, a really nice card and if a blue eyes based deck if a blue eyes based deck can bring him out, you're gonna have lots of fun doing some weird stuff with him. Next up we have the one of tomb because we do have two light pulsars so this could be a possibility this would happen. One Gaia, one Extra Beetle, because we are playing Max Light Pulsar and two Chaos Sorcerers. So there is a good possibility we can overlay it to him. And next card I'm about to bring out. So And when you come off with your uh, Light Pulsar Dragon, after you equipped him with quit Light Pulsar drag, Dragon, him, with his effect, he becomes pretty mean pretty fast. One M7, they for Rake Force, one Queen Dragoon, one on one 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 Exiton, and then for the few Synchros, we have one Azure Eyes. One Black Rose, one Goyo, one of this guy, and one Amadeus. Just because they, they're there for what they need for. Alright there, Dragons. That right there was my current Chaos Blue Eyes deck profile right now for the April 1st, 2015 ban list. Now, again, I'm not going to lie. This deck does need a little bit more work. However, there is a few cards I am looking for in particular. And once I get my hands on those cards... I'll probably be changing up this deck into a whole lot different way, and it'll probably be like a sort of an odd, weird, tally dead almost version, bro. That's just something I just thought about. I'm not 100% sure it'll work out. It'll probably take some time and some proper test playing within, within the near future. But for right now, at the moment, the deck does stand how it is standing right now at the moment, and it will go through some necessary changes that it does necessarily need. Uh, if Dragon Moons want to try this deck out, uh, feel free to do so. Please let me know what your Dragon Moons think about this deck in the comment section down below. And I'll see Dragon Moons around. Hope you Dragon Moons enjoy this video. Please leave a like and a favorite if you did. It really helps me out a lot. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Twitter but subscribe, today, subscribe today to become part of the Dragon Legion Alliance. And I'll see you Dragon Moons another day. Christian Dragoon, signing out. Peace.